When you're on top of the world, it's a celebration. When you're on the bottom, it's a denialation. What happened to all of them black excellent niggas? Never gave a best YouTuber in the world. All right, Boosie is asking a very important question that a lot of us are asking. And leave it up to Boosie to say what's real. So let's hear what he got to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I ain't never seen so many black people happy for a nigga downfall. Fuck y'all. Y'all get out of my motherfucking down. I don't want to hit no fucking diddy shit on my live. You go on diddy people live. His son finna go live, they say. Go on his son live. Don't come on my live with no diddy shit. Yeah, man. Hey. They gon' hey, they hey. gon' they gon' they gon' go with that line for the rest of Bro, I hate when people I know send me memes about you like I'm not right here or I don't know what's going on. Oh, boy, they my... they on that P Diddy line on white men out. Come on, fool. Every time I go in my comments, number laughing emojis. So you hooked up with P Diddy, huh? Talk about Boosie. Boosie, you gotta you gotta do a remix and change it. I ain't never seen so many black people happy for a nigga downfall. Man, I don't see no white people in my comments doing that. I ain't never seen so many black people happy for a nigga downfall. I don't hear none of them who was that did this shit, toasting with that champagne every year. Having speeches with me. Ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing. When you're on top of the world, it's a celebration. When you're on the bottom, it's a denialation. Make it make sense, though, bro. Like, come on, man. All y'all have had them champagne glasses over them suits on for all these brunches and all this. Nobody got nothing nice to say. All these colleges got millions from this man. Ain't nobody got nothing nice to say. That's why you ain't going to see too many around me who was around me before I went to jail. You don't see too many around me. Did me like did it for did it people. I'm just saying though, all them damn friends he used to have all these years, these athletes, these entertainers, entrepreneurs, putting their glasses up with them, toasting, listening to his speeches. They probably did. They, they probably knew, bro. They probably knew. But now that done hit the fan, ain't nobody trying to say nothing for that nigga hit me, bro. Damn, but if you're a friend, you're a friend, G. Yeah, thanks. A friend, you're a friend. Until it's still the, allegation. Until, until the facts come out. Uh, but a friend is a friend. A friend is a friend. A friend with you, right or what? All wrong. You still hug your friend. Even if you knew what was going on, a friend is a friend. What happened to all of them black excellent niggas? Black excellence, black excellence, black excellence. What happened to all of them niggas? What happened to the billionaire black nigga club? All these black billionaires and we doing it. I saw that nigga toasting with Jay. I saw him toasting with a lot of y'all niggas. And I like that Boosie got into it. Diddy gave a lot of money away to a lot of uh, companies, organizations, colleges. It is crazy that when shit hit the fan, everybody back the fuck up away from you because they don't want to get caught in it. Now, you heard Boosie Friend in the background saying they probably knew what was going on, but we don't even know what's going on as the public. Diddy ain't been charged yet, and everybody just running with these allegations as if they're true. Now, we have all heard shit about Diddy. Let's not get it twisted. But to the niggas that was at the top with him, to abandon him like this, it does show you. And it teaches all of us a lesson. Number one, a lot of these celebrities be fake friends. And number two, as in life, regardless if you rich or poor, people be around you for what they can get. And if it's beneficial to them. If you not helping them in some type of way or they don't see a reason that is in their favor to have a relationship with you, they ain't fucking with you. And that's the same. Look, you don't got to be Diddy. Some of y'all know. Y'all have been through shit and you watch niggas leave you. I know I have. 
That's why my circle is very small now. I know how fake Negroes can be. And that's not just Negroes, people in general. Once again, what happened to all of them black excellence niggas? What happened to all the voter die niggas? Oh, voter die, we rocking with Diddy. Shit hit the fan. I'm watching niggas <laughs> Danity Kane and B5. <laughs> niggas, niggas start coming out the woodwork. Now, granted, it was a whole conversation about people in the music industry or people who used to be signed to Bad Boy who got deals that weren't in their favor. And so that was a conversation. But I'll still tell you, Diddy is the only black music mogul or a record company owner that people like to go after. You never see anybody else on the internet talking about these white dudes who gave them a bad contract. And that always rubbed me the wrong way too. So y'all always point at Diddy and hold them to a standard that you don't hold everybody else to. Some of y'all was that bad boy and then went to another record company and got fucked over there, but y'all don't want to talk about them. You just want to talk about Diddy. Why? Because it can get you some clicks. You signed that deal, bro. And I, and I told y'all, that's how I always felt about that. If you was dumb enough to sign that deal, that's on you. If you didn't have the people around you to give you a good deal, that's on you. Because it's a lot of people who got bad record deals that still ended up being very successful. LL Cool J, for example. It's a lot of people that got screwed in the beginning. Joe Budden got screwed in the beginning. It's a lot of people who had bad record deals but didn't let that stop them from going after their careers or their music career or, you know, just being successful in general. If you let a bad contract stop you, that's on you. But I don't want to get too deep with that because that ain't what we talking about when it comes to Diddy. But, yeah, I do think it's very funny that a lot of his motherfucking associates are not standing by him right now. And I want to know what the people think about that. Do y'all think some of these people knew the shady stuff Diddy was into? Or do you think a lot of these people just fake? Because if this shit blow over and nothing happens to Diddy, he doesn't go to jail, he doesn't get charged, don't y'all think a lot of these people going to try to start hanging back? Don't y'all think a lot of these people going to be right back next to Diddy or they're going to try to get right back next to Diddy. Cause if I'm Diddy, I, I'll say fuck all of y'all. If I was Diddy, <laughs> if I was Diddy, I would go live and be like, Hey, I, I saw what y'all was doing. <laughs> Cause to me, if Diddy didn't do none of this shit, they accusing him of, that's the only thing that would keep me going. When this shit blow over, nigga, ooh, I'm going to have a field day with y'all niggas. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.